Alright YouTube, in this video I am going to show you how to choose the selected files and display its name in the list format. As you can see now, if you wish to remove the file name, you can remove it. So when there is no file left, you can see it is showing the message and it is asking you to click again. Fine. If I choose, I can choose multiple files. And if I wish to remove, I can remove it. You can see once there are no files left. It is saying all file cleared choose the file again so it is the changing it is also changing the state from two files to no files choose to follow along I leave the source code in the description fine we'll start from base since we have one heading and one input type equal to file we have I have identified it with ID along with the paragraph we don't have we don't need the paragraph we will make it as div so we will insert dynamically paragraph so let me start the script tag script from scratch first thing let me get the input element and the div in the javascript i have identified it with id so we can make document dot get element by id so this element can be accessed inside the variable input type file the same way let me make it for the div as well now I'm going to add a listener that is when I want to change the input field a function will get executed that function I'm passing it in as the second parameter this is a function which will trigger when I change the state of the input file so I'm going to show you a message now I'm going to get the number of files selected so that means it it will allow you to choose the files so it will going to it is going to return the number of files chosen so let me show you the message on the console how many files are chosen this is referring to the input field which we have received it in the javascript this dot files files is a keyword dot length so if you select the number of files this number of files the total number of files will be displayed on the console message there is an error let me see what it is i think i have misspelled the name files to flies let me change it to files since we are getting some value let me have a condition of if if it is greater than 0 it is actually greater than 0 because we have received 2 then you can see now I am going to run a for this will this for loop will run there is until and unless there is one file left so I want to show the message on the console simply the file names with the help of item I need to pass the i dot name i is called, will be iterated from 0 to the length of the file selected now there is an error the files the file is a singular not a plural now with the help of this code you will get the file names you can see we can get the file names in the console now let me append it inside a div which I have received it in the JavaScript and we have to append it with the help of plus equal to and I think we will get an error because we have not used dot inner html dot inner html is a property which will allow you to write html code inside the div on javascript we are getting the text we need to convert it to paragraph so I will have a paragraph tag and I will append it with this code the html code should be inside sing double quotes or single quotes it's up to you and you have to append the code with plus
now you can see we are getting we are getting the list but we need a close button as well so for that i'm going to create a span tag and this span tag will have a class i have already created a class which will have some background color and a color of the text and it will float to light so let me give the class name so once i click on it i want the selected file to get displayed i have not implemented that so let me implement it so to implement that what well, let's get all the classes to get all the classes we will use get elements by class name it will give you the html collection so let me show you how the collection looks like the classes can be many that's why it's html collection so let me convert it to harry using step spread operator you have to pass it inside the square bracket with three dot in front in front of the variable so this is the difference between collection and uh, the array so let me comment the collection we need array so i'll store it into a variable now i'm going to use this variable on for each so that i can add click event to each of the span tag with class so we can access one by one span tag using this one by one variable so let me show you how, how can we access each span tag individually now we are getting the individual span tag now once we get the individual span tag i want to apply click event on all of them so the code for writing the click event will be on the second paragraph of second parameter of add event listeners now get this span with the help of this keyword sorry for that will pass e dot target so that we can know where we have clicked if the e dot target let me message let me show you where we have clicked with the help of e dot target it will give you where we have clicked if the e dot target has a class dot class list so i don't need a class list i need to find its parent since span is inside the paragraph you will get the parent element if you click if you click on span you will get the parent element now i want the parent element to get removed so if we click on span the paragraph will get removed and that's working now you can see even after i remove everything the state is still same which is four four files are chosen to remove that what i'm going to do is i'm going to call a parent so here the parent div is simply the div which has all the paragraph dynamic paragraph so if the parent has first child uh, we don't have we don't need children it's first child if the first child is null then show the alert message that is you cleared all files select again to view the list fine let me place it after i remove the elements so each time i remove it will check whether there is only one first child is left it is first child each time while removing it is going to check whether it is the first child if it is the first child it will show you the message that you cleared all the list now search again 
so even after that you can see even after removing it the state of the input file is not removed so for that you have to call the input field with the help of value property you have to assign it nothing now if you remove everything you can see there is three files now we can now it is converted to no file chosen that's all for this video thank you so much for listening